What is going on guys? George with another video and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are in Westminster visiting our good friends at Tiny Ray Co. We're going to be doing a goose gear delete on the rear portion of the Toyota Tacoma. Now for those of you guys that have been watching the channel for a while know that I really don't have anything in the back anymore. I took off the seats already. I did do a DIY rear seat delete and with that came some issues. I did lose the functionality of my cubby holes that go underneath the seats. I did lose the cubby holes that go in the rear portion of the seats and when it came down to room yes we got more room but we lost a lot of the functional portion of those cubby holes now i did do some research and i realized that goose gear was probably going to be the best option for me and tiny rico which is ran by one of my good friends daniel elo just happens to be the number one dealer here in california so i wanted to come down and visit them get it done by them and that is exactly what we're doing today. So let's go inside. We're going to meet the crew and get it done. Let's go. Thank you. All right, so we're here where the magic happens, everyone. This is Daniel. Say hi. Hey, guys. <laughs> How about you give us a little tour of uh, what you got going on here? Yeah, so I guess this is our office, which we moved in like a month ago, so we're still kind of trying to get things going. We'll do a bunch of installs. Yeah, so this is the reception area. We'll probably get like a couple chairs going over here for guests to wait while we're finishing up their vehicles. Uh, COVID's weird, so uh, we're dealing with that. And, uh, Walk you into the shop. Um, so right now we've got your install going. Um, we've got an alu cab on deck right now. It's a canopy camper for a vehicle that's going on uh, a Jeep Gladiator on 37. So that should look really cool. We just finished up Noel's build over here. Um, canopy camper build and uh, yeah, super, super exciting stuff. Um, <laughs> alu cab, goose gear and uh, Red Arc kind of right now are what we're focusing on. All right, so since the truck is being worked on right now, I wanna show you guys this crazy build here. This is a perfect example of what an alley cab, canopy camper, that's what it's called, right? Yep. Uh, looks like once it's installed, uh, they have all the accessories that's including uh, the awning, which is a bat wing. And uh, yeah, Daniel, just tell us a little bit more, a little, a little more about it. Yeah, so essentially it came from the idea of just the typical canopy that Alucab makes, which is similar to like a snug top or an RSI Smart Cat, just the canopy. And then they took the design from the tent as well and combined them. So it's a wedge style camper. Um, they've been around for 25 years, I believe, in South Africa building campers. They've built over 20,000 of them. So everything, the way it's designed has been tested for years and they've just applied all of their knowledge and experience to, uh, to this right here. So it's been out for about two years and they continue to add more and more accessories to it, making it more convenient and easy uh, to camp. And that's kind of what we're doing here is we're trying to make it so that people can get out easily and comfortably and camp and enjoy themselves. Um, so I guess a couple of really cool things. Um, each door comes with one of these National Luna touch lights. And uh, these lights have three levels of dimming, red and white. Um, and then they also have memory. So you can flip one switch and your camper lights will come on. Um, and it's just sensitive touch. You can use red so that it doesn't attract bugs, keeps your night vision. Um, yeah, um, so those are on the three doors down here, one on the bottom of the bed and then one at the top of the tent when you pop it up. Um, and then we do, uh, we call it our advanced sealing process. We essentially tape up the entire bed and seal every seam with uh, some Cicaflex. So you can see if you get really close, um, how nice that looks. It makes it look like it's part of the vehicle. Also keeps it dry and dust free. So this panel is a, it's a goose gear electrical panel specifically for the canopy camper. Um, and it uses some GP factor brackets kind of behind there to, uh, to hold it onto the camper. Um, and from there, this is customizable. So we've got like our standard electrical setup, which is what you see here. Um, but you could basically mix, mix and match 
um, any device that you want to mount on here. We mostly use Blue Sea stuff, we use Red Arc, and we use Victron. You can build out this entire camper, and uh, yeah, this is one of the, the basic things we always recommend people going for. Uh, this particular individual, Noel, wanted a pretty simple setup so that he can figure out what he likes, what he needs, and once he wants to, what he wants to add on. So we did get slightly interrupted when it came down to that canopy uh, tour just because the owner of the truck actually showed up to pick up uh, his truck and they're doing a reveal for him because this is something that he's been waiting for a long time. So finally, we do have this finished product and uh, man, Tiny Reiko, Daniel, Kyle, Luke, I'm absolutely proud of you guys. You guys have absolutely killed the game and uh, to see you guys succeed in such short time, it's, it's pretty amazing. So here we have half of the delete done and uh, the cool thing about it is that you already saw um, it's got these little latchets here and right now we still don't have anything under we're still yet to install it but you basically get those cubby holes back and uh, see there's a cubby hole here and even in the back here there used to be a cubby hole there and uh, when I did the DIY uh, seat delete we lost this cubby hole there. So now, all we gotta do is push this button, I think. Not too sure how to do it just yet, but there we go. And then we pull it out, and there we go. We can put some dock food in here, maybe some recovery gear. And uh, man, the texture on this is sick. So, put this back, and there we go cool thing too is that you do have a locking mechanism as well so pretty neat now one of the biggest selling points for me aside from the quality of goose gear and just the great products that they make is the fact that this is a hundred percent bolt-on yes you will be using the factory holes once you remove the seats and you're gonna be reusing those holes to add brackets to add the panels in place one thing that I definitely do appreciate is the attention to detail when it came down to not only the inside but the care of my truck. My father has always reminded me this and that is when you're working on somebody's car, make sure you're treating it like it's your own and that is something that I definitely saw here at Tiny Rig. They definitely made sure that the area was clean before the insaw. They made sure that my leather seats and my floor mats were all covered before they started. And man, that's something that you just appreciate when they're doing it. So big shout out to you guys for taking care of me. Now, if you guys haven't heard, we did recently pick up a little puppy. Her name is Sold. Uh, she's a boxer and uh, she's little now, but soon enough, she's going to be really big. And uh, this is definitely going to come in clutch because now she's going to have a lot of room in the back to kind of hang out. We're going to have our bed, the fridge next to her, and it's just going to make it overall a more functional environment for not only the dog, but for us when we're out camping. Yeah, so we've got a 100% seat delete in George's truck. We've got the 60% on this side and the 40% on this side. Um, All together, this is a $1,000 package. Uh, the 60% is 525 and the 40% is 475. Uh, you don't need to use both of them, you can use one or the other. So if you want to keep two seats in your back seat and just have this side run a fridge horizontal, you can do that. Um, everything is coated with Linex by actually Linex and uh, it's incredibly durable. Um, if you have loose things in the bed, like you're not going to scratch things up, it's going to stay this way forever, it's going to be UV resistant. All the hardware that they use is specifically coated. The latches that they use are super high quality latches. Uh, everything's lockable, so it's it's a little bit more of a, a premium product, but it's definitely built incredibly well. And uh, the fitment also is uh, is done really well. Favorite thing about the 40% and what I would tell most people and what I tell most customers is for your fridge, the 40% seat delete is amazing because you'll be able to fit a uh, pretty large fridge, like I have the 55 in my truck, I think this is a 35, and uh, you can fit it on just the 40. Still have access to the compartments that are down here, and uh, you know, with the seat in here, you'd be pushing all the way up against here, so the extra space is really nice. 
Then you've got multiple mounting points all throughout the entire Goose Gear platform that you can fasten some hardware to and be able to tie down anything you want. So like you carry a bunch of camera equipment, you can strap those things down so they're not rattling or loose in your bed. All right guys, so that concludes today's install. Thank you so much, Daniel. You're welcome. Where can they find you, bro? Uh, so we're in Westminster, uh, tinyrigco.com and tinyrigco on Instagram. Make sure you guys give them a follow. And as always, thank you guys so much for always watching. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.